Hi, it's John. It's the 11th of October and I'm out picking the blackberries. Now there's this old tale about the devil touching the blackberries. Now it could be said that these, these two have been touched by the devil, couldn't it? Um, they've got this sort of mould across them. don't know how many will be like this, but I ain't going to pick them. I've got this sort of theory that the birds come along and sort of squash the juice out of the blackberries, these sort of squashed ones, you know, and, and um, but, you know, they can't pull them right off, but they just sort of squash, squash them and get the, uh, get the juice out. Um, I don't know if it's true, but yeah, that's a theory I've got. You see quite a lot of these in, in places. You, I can imagine sparrows doing it, but there's enough for everybody. Here's some good ones, and I, I'll leave the squashed ones, I don't want them. Uh, but it's good, food for the birds. I like seeing birds about. Some of the blackberries are up quite high, but uh, I've got very long arms and quite tall, so I can eat them. That's one of the things about your body, isn't it? On me, anyway. I, as the years go by, you, you get used to it more and you, you appreciate it more. The things you can do rather than the things you can't do. But how much are we in charge of our own bodies and our own thoughts? I, I increasingly think that not very much. I think uh, the old psycho or the um, subconscious is far more in charge of ourselves than what we are. You know, whether we're happy or sad or whatever. I think, um, I don't think we've got much control over it at all really. Just a little bit here and there. I've been watching a YouTube video about graphics and composition. Um, Chinese guy, very good, very interesting. And he's saying about have 20% or 30% in the foreground, about 40% in the middle, and then about uh, 20 or 30% in the background. So I've just seen a shot where I can do this. So um, here we are ideal for it. Lift up a bit. I don't know, I can't really, I'm on the video, I can't, I don't know how much I can compose the picture. But uh, it's a good, a good, um, good little example. There are so many blackberries all over the place. Sometimes I find that when you have a glut of something, it almost feels sort of embarrassing to um, take advantage of it. And, uh, and, and, and then when it's gone by, which is normally pretty quick, you think, oh, I wish I had a pick more of them blackberries. Um, they do just fall to the floor or they, um, they go soggy. But there's tons around at the moment. There's some ivy flowering in there. The bees love those ivy flowers. And then when they have their black berries, they're a very late berry. And the thrushes and blackbirds really appreciate it because they come, I don't know, about February or something like that. I'm not quite sure all the time, but it's very late in the season. Convolvulus or bindweed. Um, now there's a nice simplicity of colour here. Helen says sort of like uh, with painting, you have a, you can have a limited palette sometimes, and it um, it's good. Well. There's, there's, there's a million things you can do, but um, anyway, that's it. Bindweed.
think these are honeysuckle berries. Lovely colour, aren't they? That blackberry flower's left it a bit late. I don't think that'll be bearing any fruit this year, but um, pollen for the bees, no doubt. I subscribe to a chap named Bernard, Elver Bernard Alvarez on YouTube. And he's one of these sort of totally new age people. And he believes in uh, masters, um, risen, high, running, risen masters and things like that, and spirit guides. Um, and uh, he's in conversation with a like-minded person in his latest video. And it's just amazing how the, how the brain takes all the facts about one's existence and then it sort of weaves it into an amazing scenario, a story to make sense of it. And um, it's beautiful really, but that's uh, probably why there's so many different beliefs in the world because everybody's different and everybody has a different amount of uh, things to cope with and and um, the you know the brain weaves it all in in a different way. Here's a real favourite with the landscape artist, the the hogweed. Um, there we go, the hogweed seed head. Um, they are fantastic, aren't they? And they'll carry on all winter if nobody, if everybody resists the temptation to knock them off and break them off. Yeah, we just like that, aren't we? We do like to destroy things. Anyway, I think that's it for now. Right, bye.